Hooray for us. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Grand Class Melee. I'm supposed to be recording Lords of the Black Sun and writing a text review, but this game, this game is so good that I need to do a second episode, and I want to be the bowyer. In the last episode, we were the savant, who's majorly the bowyer is more of a ranger who can uh, sort of turn into a druid, and he's pretty cool. Let me crank these guys up. All right, let's do the thing. So I have an arrow attack, which does a harder damage. Not really that great. They are coming for me. Don't come for me, bros. Get the cheap shot. Bam. Uh oh. It's the mage. Got him. Good start. Good start. The scout increases movement speed by 25%. Or I can get a lunge that hits for one heart of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the lunge. Because I wanna do some quick damage. See how. Oh, he didn't completely come towards me. Oh no, get away. There, some hits. Some good hits. A kill shot. Uh oh. Don't shoot the bow when you're right in their face. <laughs> That's terrible. Good job, militiamen. I could be a guardian with a wild Aegis that reduces incoming melee damage by 75% when in tall water or tall water, tall grass or water. Finesse allows you to move while attacking. Ooh, I think I'm gonna take the move while attacking and the lunge. And we are now a gal a gallant. You ever read Goofus and Gallant? Highlights for kids. Never mind. Oh shit! God, no, no! It sounded so good on paper. Because I gotta start swinging and using my moving while attacking. Oh, Bart. Well, I have my bet on the halberdier, but if the disciple, yeah, because he doesn't really have anything to cast onto the halberdier. He's just kind of leaving traps and then not getting behind them. But that's okay. We're still ahead. That guy's on the board now. So we could be a samurai with kendo. Melee attacks hit for an extra half heart of damage. Or a paladin with healing aura, which heals nearby hearts for half, allies for half a heart every four seconds. I'm going to go with the Samurai and the Finesse, which allows me to move while attacking. So it is all auto attack on this character, but hopefully that'll work out. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm getting my face just molested. Alright, alright. Bad. Oh, I got got. The Seer saw what I was doing. Unfortunate. All right, so uh, the seer is on the board now, and that that guy's catching up to me. We could be a sensei with Tatsujin, increase movement speed and attack damage by 50%. Last 10 seconds, or a holy knight with holy zeal, which increases attack speed. So I'm gonna try my melee character again, even though it didn't work that well. But uh, hopefully, attack speed while moving. Damn. Bet, bet, bet. Oh my god, he's hurt me so bad because he's not pushed back by any of my attacks. So uh, the phalanx just came in and just destroyed me. Sage wins the round, which is good because the phalanx is ahead currently. He's getting top damage and I am not. So we're going to have to change up our strategy a little bit here. We have... Six, seven, eight, so three rounds left to go. I could be a transcendent with reprisal, double melee damage after parrying an attack, or a temple knight with penitence. Increases movement speed by 15% each time you are hit, which might be good for getting away. I'm not too sure. We went mostly auto attack. Hmm, I think I should have gone the ranger way. But let's see. Increase attack speed. It'll have to work. Oh my god. Don't... Oh, wow. 
Those mages are gonna be a problem. Ooh. Got a thrust at the right time. <laughs> time mage. What are you doing? Kill, kill, kill! Yay! Oh my god, he's alive again. Oh my god, he's dead again. He had that buff that I got in the last episode. Alright, so we're 10 points ahead now. We did get the most kills and the top damage. Hooray for us. Now I can be a Templar with plate mail, immune to arrows, and thrust attacks. Or a Myrmidon, which damages en nearby enemies for half a heart every 2.5 seconds. Um, I like the sound of it. 2.5 seconds is a long time in a game like this. But if it's damaging every enemy, it just might be worth it. I stick with the Holy Zeal because that seemed to work last time. It allows me to thrust to get out of harm's way, which I wasn't really doing for the first few rounds. Oh my god. Get away from me, Time Mage. Bro! Bro, no! Okay, everybody wait. Don't let him cast! Gotta hit him! Oh, that pulses my aura. That's not too bad. It's going off at a steady click, I suppose. Oh! Got got by the Vicar. Dooming indeed. So he's, he's catching up pretty good. This is the last round. We'll see if I can hold the lead. And there's a light blade with subduction. Your melee attacks will slow enemies by 40% for 10 seconds. And an Archangel with Absolution, which increases your melee damage by one heart. I believe I'll go with the Light Blade, just because I want to keep them close to me and see how much I can chew them apart with the uh, Holy Zeal. Good luck, little Light Blade. We'll see how it goes. Chew them up! Chew them up! Oh my god, I just got blasted. Now I'm slowed. Oh, I need to be very careful. I need to be very careful. Alright, pick on him. Yay! We cheap shotted it. <laughs> a win's a win. Alright. Results. Number one, Mr. Lightblade. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, I really am going to sit down and write Lords of the Black Sun now. Uh... This has been Grand Class Melee 2. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you'll join me for parts 3 and 4, because I think that's all I plan to do, at least until online play comes along. But I really do love this game. It's simple, it's fast-paced, and it's fun as hell, with a lot of replayability and options. So, I hope you guys will check it out, and I hope you guys will join me for whatever I decide to do next. Until then, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.